Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Giovanni Pernis was allegedly heard referring to Amanda Abington as a mad woman after she claimed he was cruel and mean on Strictly Come Dancing. Amanda quit the BBC series last year due to personal reasons before reports surfaced saying she had demanded footage of her rehearsals after the experience in the competition left her with PTSD. The professional dancer, 33, was later suspended while a BBC probe is underway over claims of off-camera misconduct made by the actress, 50, and two other former celebrity partners, which he denies. Over the weekend, in her first interview since quitting the show in October, Amanda broke her silence to claim that Giovanni was abusive to her and his behavior was unnecessary. Giovanni, who was appearing on stage with Anton Dubique during their Together Live tour at the Lowry, in Salford, appeared to take a swipe at Amanda, the Mirror reports. According to the publication, he said to the audience, Oh, I will be back, don't you worry. Let's see what this mad woman has got to say next. Giovanni did not name anyone specifically. Mail Online has contacted Giovanni's representative for comment. Giovanni denied all accusations of abusive or threatening behavior made by Amanda in her interview and has cooperated with the BBC. Speaking to The Sun on Sunday, she said, I found Giovanni's behavior unnecessary, abusive, cruel and mean. I couldn't sit back and let him do that to other people. I had to think long and hard about making a complaint because I knew the backlash I would get but I would not have been able to live with myself for future people going on that show. It's insane what has happened to me, with the death threats and backlash. I know the BBC have known about his behavior for years, people had complained about him and flagged his behavior to producers in the past and nothing was done. It wasn't an isolated experience with me. I should never ever have danced with him. Sources previously claimed Amanda, Ranveer Singh and Laura Whitmore had an emotional summit where they compared notes about their time working with Giovanni on the show. A spokesperson for Giovanni told Mail Online in response, the BBC has shared allegations from the inquiry with Giovanni, who has cooperated fully. They added, none of the allegations carried in the sun on Sunday are included in any shape or form. Giovanni refutes these allegations and denies any accusations of abusive or threatening behavior. He has provided substantive evidence to the investigation and he remains fully confident of clearing his name. The BBC declined to comment when contacted by Mail Online but a spokesperson previously stated, we will not be commenting on individuals or engaging with speculation. However, as we have said previously we will always listen if people want to make us aware of something or raise it with us directly and we have appropriate procedures and processes in place to manage this. Giovanni is working with combative legal firm Shillings and is expected to put forward transcripts to prove he acted fairly.